A local man is in jail tonight accused of threatening to kill his two kids and the family's cat. Police say the man threatened his sons with a knife. They say that the man has been in trouble before. Officers have responded to domestic disputes at the house in the past. The family, though, says the man has never threatened to use weapons against them. Bob Allen joins us live from Butler County with more. Bob. Well, Ken, apparently the uh, suspect is no stranger to state police who say they've been called to that house on several occasions in the past, but this time we're told he produced a large knife and threatened to use it on his family. State police say 49-year-old Michael Mazurik got into an argument with his son at their home in Summit Township, Butler County, and threatened to kill one of the family's pet cats. Investigators say Mazurik grabbed a 12-inch sheath knife and put it to the cat's throat. His son managed to grab the cat with only a little bit of hair being cut off. Police say Missouri pointed the knife at both of his sons and threatened to kill them. One of his sons told state police threats were an ongoing issue with their dad, but it never got to the point of him producing a weapon. When state police arrived, Missouri became uncooperative and had to be restrained with handcuffs. Police also found a pipe with marijuana residue that Missouri admitted he had been using. State police requested a high bond, saying they've been called to the house on several occasions for domestic violence, and they don't want Missouri to have contact with his sons. If the name Michael Missouri sounds familiar, he was arrested for crashing into a house in Center Township, Butler County, back in May of 2016. Around 4 a.m., the resident was asleep in her bedroom when his car crashed into the room, barely missing her. Mazurik was charged with DUI. Now, Michael Mazurik is now charged with cruelty to animals, terroristic threats, endangering the welfare of children, and possession of a controlled substance. He's locked up in the Butler County Prison on $25,000 bond. Reporting live in Butler County, Bob Allen, KDKA TV News.